Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In our previous three videos, I discussed three of the PE depth areas that you can take for your civil PE exam, geotechnical, construction, and structural. And in this week's video, I will be reviewing in detail the transportation depth portion of the civil PE exam to help you decide if this might be the right option for you. You can find links to the first three videos in the description below. This episode is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. There are five different areas that you can choose from when taking the PE civil exam, which are PE civil geotechnical, PE civil construction, PE civil structural, PE civil transportation, which we are reviewing today, and PE civil water resources and environmental. Now remember that the PE civil transportation exam is a breadth and depth examination. The breadth items typically known as the morning section, cover topics from all areas of civil engineering. However, the depth items, also known as the afternoon section, focus more closely on a single area of practice, like for example, transportation. What is transportation engineering? Transportation engineering is concerned with moving people and goods efficiently, safely, and in a manner conducive to a vibrant community. It involves specifying, designing, constructing, and maintaining transportation infrastructure, including streets, highways, rail systems, ports, and airports. It includes areas such as transportation design, transportation planning, traffic engineering, urban engineering, pavement engineering, intelligent transportation systems, and infrastructure management. Here are a few things to note about the Civil Transportation CBT or computer-based PE exam. The exam includes 80 questions. The exam appointment time is nine hours and includes a non-disclosure agreement, which takes about two minutes, a tutorial, which takes about eight minutes, the exam, which is eight hours, and a scheduled break for 50 minutes. What topics can you expect to see on this exam? The following examples of the knowledge areas are not exclusive or exhaustive, but this is what you can expect to be tested on during this exam. Project planning, such as quantity takeoff methods, cost estimating and project schedules. Means and methods, such as construction loads, construction methods, and temporary structures and facilities. Soil mechanics, such as lateral earth pressure, soil consolidation, effective and total stresses. Structural mechanics, such as dead and live loads, trusses, bending, for example, moments and stresses, and shear. Hydraulics and hydrology, such as open channel flow and stormwater collection and drainage. Geometrics, such as basic circular curve elements, for example, middle ordinate, length, cord, radius, and basic vertical curve elements. Materials such as soil classification and boring log interpretation. Soil properties, for example, strength, permeability, compressibility, phase relationships. And concrete, for example, non-reinforced and reinforced. Site development, such as excavation and embankment, for example, cut and fill. Construction site layout and control and temporary and permanent soil erosion and sediment control. Traffic engineering, such as uninterrupted flow, street segment interrupted flow, 
intersection capacity and accident analysis. You can see how specific it's getting. Horizontal design, such as basic curve elements, sight distance considerations, super elevation and special horizontal curves, vertical design, such as vertical curve geometry, stopping and passing sight distance, and vertical clearance, intersection geometry, such as intersection sight distance, interchanges and at grade intersection layout, including roundabouts, roadside and cross section design, such as forgiving roadside concepts, barrier design, cross section elements, and Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA design considerations. Signal design, such as signal timing and signal warrants. Traffic control design, such as signs and pavement marking and temporary traffic control. Geotechnical and pavement, such as sampling and testing, soil stabilization techniques. Design traffic analysis and pavement design procedures. Drainage, such as hydrology and hydraulics, including culvert and stormwater collection system design. Alternatives analysis, such as economic analysis. As you can see, lots of specifics in there. So maybe you're still not sure if this is for you. Well, let's look at the passing rates for the civil transportation CBT exam. As of December 2021, the PE civil transportation depth exam has a 63% pass rate for first time takers and a 41% pass rate for repeat takers. You can view the full list of pass rates at the NCWS website. Now let's compare them to the PE civil geotechnical construction and structural depth exams that we discussed in our three previous videos. The construction depth portion had a 53% pass rate for first time takers and a 37% pass rate for repeat takers. The geotechnical depth portion had a 54% pass rate for first time takers and a 30% pass rate for repeat takers. The structural depth had a 62% pass rate for first time takers and a 42% pass rate for repeat takers. So you can see the PE civil transportation exam has the highest pass rate so far at 63% for first time takers. This is the exam I took 20 years ago. And I know it sounds very specific, but you can learn these things. I was not in transportation. Hopefully this information will give you a better idea of what to expect on the PE civil transportation CBT exam. Remember to consider your experience and interests and check the passing rates when deciding which depth section of the civil PE exam you should take. Lastly, I would strongly recommend that you preview some of the exams by doing some exam prep courses that might offer a variety of live and on-demand classes. Looking at the previews of the practice exams for each of these disciplines might help you to see which section is best suited to your strengths. For some great prep courses, visit our sponsor's website, PPI, at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. I hope you found this review helpful. You can find all of these videos in our playlist right here on YouTube called Civil Engineering Disciplines. In upcoming videos, I will review other civil engineering disciplines. And if you have any questions, fire away in the comments and I will respond to you. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.